My name is uh, Edmond Yakani, Executive Director of SEPO, one of the stakeholders signature to the Revitalized Peace Agreement. Today I had a chance to meet with His Excellency Hussein Abdul Baghi Akol, Vice President and Chairperson of Service Cluster on the country's preparation for the looming election in December 2024. Our discussion focused on creation of a conducive environment for the conduct of democratic and peaceful elections in South Sudan. And we have a lengthy discussion on issues of the unification of the forces, constitutional making process, the issue of population censors and the repatriation of IDPs and refugees, opening of political and civic space and national financing of the election and the constitutional making process. In our discussion, we're able to reach for a consensus that there's a necessity for the presidency to hold a meeting and that meeting should be followed up by holding political parties dialogue in order to make some political decisions on some of these critical issues that are associated with the creation of condition environment for the conduct of the elections by December 2024. But also we have discussed with His Excellency Vice President uh, Hussein Abdul Baghi a call that it's necessary to us to make sure that citizens are educated and that means the issues of open uh, civic and political space is critical and we have reached consensus that election is necessary to be conducted but we need to meet the prerequisite for creating the conducive environment of the elections and that requires political will and political commitment and allocation of resources for deliverance of those actions that create the conducive environment for the conduct of the elections. So our discussion was constructive, was lengthy, and this is within separate plan of running a campaign with the members of the presidency for us to reach a national consensus for the conduct of the elections. So I'd like to this opportunity to urge the citizens that it's a high time that we should influence our leaders for them to commit themselves to deliver the country from violence to peace through genuine and effective implementation of the revitalized peace agreement. And I've insisted to His Excellency, Vice President Hussein Abdul Baghi, I call that there's a necessity for the political leaders to make an urgent political decisions before time runs out or before it is late. Thank you very much.